Today on Turf and Tools, we're gonna to have a quick look at the Greenworks 42 inch 60 volt battery zero turn. Now, when I say quick look, I've already taken this thing out into the wild. I've put about four or four and a half hours on it. I certainly didn't baby it. I've put it through some really overgrown stuff on a Fremo Fridays video. If you wanna see that video on the full transformation, there's a link in the description below. But it was a really good test for this mower. Of that four and a half hours, probably an hour of that has just been driving around without the blades engaged because this thing's, I don't know, it's just the novelty of the no sound is awesome. Now first up, I've got to say thanks to MacArthur Mowers and Machinery for lending me this thing for a couple of weeks to try out and show you guys. So if you're interested in one of these, they're the people to go and see about it. I can talk about it and read specs all day, but I'm sure you just want to see it cutting and at the end of this little intro, I will show you some real-time footage of that happening with some overgrown grass. Now, the first question on everyone's lips will be runtime. Runtime is gonna be very dependent on what you're cutting. What they advertise is it'll cut up to two acres on the six, eight amp hour batteries that it comes with. That's just a guide. It will depend on how thick the stuff you're cutting is, how quickly you're doing it. There's a number of factors that will determine that. To give you an indication of the sort of runtime I was getting on the first day I turned up to mow this overgrown place, it's about a quarter acre block, but overgrown, very overgrown. I had to triple cut it, work my way down slowly. By the time I was finished the front and back there, triple cutting it, it was down to about 30%. A few days later, I went back to clean it up again and go down even lower again. Uh, and I only used about 30% that time. So in my experience, I used 70% of battery on a quarter acre block that was severely overgrown. Then on that same block on a maintenance mow, still cutting a couple of times, I used 30% of the battery. Now, as far as those batteries go, they live under the seat here, very easy access to them. Pull the seat forward. There's a little tub here where it houses six of these eight amp hour batteries. It will run on less, but for optimal, obviously, running time and cutting, I'd be running with all six of them. Charge time is actually pretty impressive for them. You'll get a full charge in about 60 minutes. They come with three dual battery chargers. So you've got three separate chargers that you put two batteries into each, and each of those chargers charge up those batteries in about an hour, which is pretty impressive for a machine of this size. Now the batteries have individual indicators on them, but also a combined total as a percentage on the machine. Now what sort of speed are you gonna get out of this thing? It'll go up to 12 kilometers an hour. Obviously in reverse, it'll go a bit slower. It also has two speeds of drive. Personally, I found myself in the higher speed most times. I found the reverse speed in the low speed was just painfully slow for me personally. Obviously that slower speed though is gonna buy you more battery time. Now the blades also have a high and low speed. Again, that's gonna impact on your runtime on this machine. Cutting overgrown stuff as you will see after this. I was always using the higher speed. It'd be interesting trying out the lower speed on some more manicured lawns. This machine will cut anywhere from four and a half inches all the way down to one and a half inches. The deck adjustment is extremely simple, extremely easy, very light. And go from four and a half to one and a half, as simple as that. Now this machine has an IPX4 rating, which means that it can handle splashes of water from any direction. I'm not gonna be using a pressure washer to uh, blast around the motors on this thing personally, but it's good to know that it can handle some water, which brings me to the next point. It actually has a wash port on the deck here, so you can hook your hose up to here, turn the hose on, engage the blades, and that should clean under the deck. Now, as far as maintenance goes on this machine, what can sort of go wrong with it? Obviously, you're gonna to have to maintain your blades. Um, the front casters there have got grease nipples. Obviously, tires is another consumable that you will go through, but obviously no air filters or carbies to play with on this machine. It does come with front LED headlights, which a lot of these battery machines seem to be coming with these days. We also have two USB ports here, charge your phone or whatever, drink holder, phone holder. We've got an adjustable seat. Have a tow hitch at the front here. You can also tow up to 135 kilos at the back here. Store up to 90 kilos in this little back compartment here. Obviously, if you're pulling or carrying a lot of weight, that's gonna affect your run time again, but handy to know that you can do that. Now, what do I like about this machine in the short time that I've been using it? The no sound, it's just, it's so nice. Obviously, you've got sound when the blades are engaged, but I'll give you an idea of the level of sound that you're gonna be dealing with. This is moving around. There's a little bit of a fan there, obviously, kicked in. 
that's all the sort of noise you're going to get moving around. Most of that noise is coming from the rubbing of the tyres on the floor here. So this is as loud as it's going to get while you're on this machine. That's on high speed too. You can turn the blade speed down too low. And the noise level decreases again. I'm just speaking in normal volume here. My microphone's right here, so you're hearing what I'm hearing. Apart from that though, the machine is just a stealthy unit. And what else do I like about it? Cut quality of the limited cutting I've done. I've been impressed with how it cuts. It's also a very comfortable machine. I'm used to standing up as I have a stander machine, uh, which is just a preference for me. I mean, I could have a nap just mowing in this thing. It's, it's that comfortable. Now, what don't I like about it? This seems to be just a safety feature thing. Seems with a lot of the modern equipment, so I can't so much fault them with this. Just hopping on and off it and getting into the drive sequence. You don't just sort of hop on it. Oh, there we go, I made a liar of himself. Once you've hopped off the machine, you go and pick a stick up or something, whatever, you jump back on the machine. You've got to wait till it beeps, till you can then go, which, you know, it's not the end of the world, but it's just, I want to jump back on, release these and be ready to go, which, as you'll see, you just can't do. Again, that's a safety item, and I understand many companies have got to implement these things. The other thing I'm not a fan of um, or I feel it should have been an option. There's no option to plug in from the wall straight into the machine and charge the batteries. While they're in the machine, you have to individually lift them out, put them on the chargers. Um, potentially in the next model, they may implement that, but that seems to be a little bit of a missed opportunity for me. I'm sure there's probably a reason why it happened, but you know, again, I'd like to just plug one plug into this machine, into the wall, and, and forget about it instead of having to lift the seat, pull six batteries out, put them on the charger, and then when they're charged, put the six batteries back in. But overall, I actually like this machine. Again, limited time, probably four or four and a half hours. I'm about to show you it chewing through some uh, thicker stuff. I know it's not gonna be for everyone, but there is a market for a machine like this. Obviously, there's other options out there as well, like the Ego machine. I haven't used that, so I can't compare the two, but this thing definitely impressed me more than I thought it was going to. Anyway, let's see some real-time footage of it mowing now. 